We may only be a few months into 2019, but already I've reviewed a stack of fantastic smartphones. Frankly, I can't keep up with them all. It's mental. Fans are always asking what is the best phone out right now, so I've decided to round up my favourite phones of the year so far in a number of key categories. The best for camera tech, battery life and across a range of prices as well, including some of the best upcoming smartphones, all to suit your particular budget. And please do hit that subscribe button and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers everyone! So my pick for the best camera phone of 2019 so far is definitely the Huawei P30 Pro and the P30. As far as the optics go, you really can't beat Huawei's latest flagship phones. The P30 Pro is the big daddy of the pair thanks to that insane 5x optical zoom which is genuinely brilliant when capturing touristy shots on your travels, as is the ultra wide angle view as well. The P30 may top off at 3 times optical zoom instead but that still beats the pulp out of most rivals. Both of these blowers do a bang up job for your everyday snaps too. Photos are brought to life with rich colours and impeccably fine detail, while the portrait mode is simply the best out there, as is the excellent long exposure night mode which just gets better and better with every new Huawei phone. I also have to give a shout out to Samsung's Galaxy S10 family in this category. The photo capture isn't on par with the P30s, but the video chops are very solid indeed. Any outdoor enthusiasts will especially love the super steady mode, which all but eliminates Judder when you're bombing about the place. Now my pick at the best battery life smartphone of 2019 so far is the Motorola Moto G7 Power. The Moto G7 Power may cost less than 200 quid, but it is simply untouchable when it comes to longevity. Not even massive phones five times the price can stretch to over three full days of use per charge, a feat that is accomplished here thanks to the mighty 5000mAh cell and that power efficient stock version of Android Pie. If you want something to take on the road all weekend long then this is definitely your huckleberry, but go check out my full roundup of the best battery life smartphones of 2019 for more ideas. My choice for the best 400 to 500 pound smartphone of 2019 so far is the Honor View 20. Now we're all expecting the fresh new Honor 20 flagship phone to launch around May time, but we still have much love for the Honor View 20, which launched back at the very beginning of 2019, back when we were still bloated and a bit hungover from all of that Christmas shenanigans. The View 20 packs some stunning design with the display that practically fills the entire front and a funky psychedelic finish round back. The specs match any premium phone for the most part, with Huawei's Kirin 980 chipset packed inside here, the same platform used in those fresh P30 handsets. It gets stunning battery life and a very dependable 48 megapixel camera rounding off a solid package. And sure you don't get an AMOLED screen here, but the IPS panel is still very bright and punchy. So onto the best 300 to 400 pound smartphone of 2019 so far, and that accolade goes to the Xperia 10 Plus from Sony. 350 quid bags you the lovable Xperia 10 Plus, a mid-range mobile that boasts Sony's new and unique 21 by 9 stretched aspect ratio display. This offers a borderless view when watching movies and also proves perfect for multitasking with two apps at once. Plus that slender finish makes for a very comfortable grip and experience. You've just got to get over how ridiculously tall this thing is. Battery life is good and we also like the dual lens rear camera, something that we rarely see on a Sony smartphone before 2019. You get a 2 times optical zoom to get a closer view of your subject and yes you can also shoot your whole movies in that cinematic style 21 by 9 aspect ratio, lovely stuff. Onto the best 200 to 300 pound smartphone of 2019 so far and that one goes to the Moto G7 Plus. We honestly can't say enough nice things about Motorola's most premium G7 smartphone family member which packs in some really solid specs and a satisfying everyday experience. You get the same streamlined vanilla version of Android Pie as the G7 Power, once again topped off with those excellent Moto bonus features, including a very helpful one handed mode and some nifty gesture control. The lack of a clunky overlay helps out with that slick performance of course, so that Snapdragon 636 platform rarely struggles. And the dual lens shooter slapped on the back is again impressive for this price point, boasting 4K video chops and some very funky camera modes. Last up in the pricing bands and my pick of the best sub £200 smartphone of 2019 so far goes to the Honor 10 Lite slash the Huawei P Smart 2019. This pair are the joint winners of this category as they're basically the same bloody thing. The Honor 10 Lite is effectively a rebranded PSmart 2019, with the same front fill and 6.21 inch IPS screen, the same Kirin 710 chipset for performance that isn't too janky, the same 3400mAh battery for all day play without any stress, and the same fantastic Emotion UI software which adds everything from gesture navigation to face unlock. You also unsurprisingly get the same 13 megapixel rear camera backed by a basic 2 megapixel depth sensor. Photo quality is very respectable indeed, although the video chops are rather limited, not really a shock at this sort of price point. And once again massive props to Motorola's Moto G7 Power which offers stunning value for money at just 180 quid, lovely stuff. 
If you'd rather have a stock version of Android instead of Huawei's rather heavy Emotion UI overlay, then definitely go for this bad boy. And finally, my pick of the best upcoming smartphone of 2019 is the Sony Xperia 1. So we've got loads of great stuff still yet to launch in 2019, including of course the OnePlus 7, much anticipated indeed, and Google's hopefully new mini and more affordable Pixel 3 smartphones. Not forgetting the likes of the Pocophone F2, which would hopefully boast incredible value for money once again. However, the one I'm most excited about is Sony's Xperia 1, the Japanese giant's big new 2019 flagship phone. I've actually played with the working model and it is a stunning device, once again boasting that brilliant 21 by 9 display tech, but this time it's a 4 4K OLED panel which definitely really has to be seen to be believed. This is the first Sony smartphone to bust a tri-lens camera too, with the same flexibility as Huawei's P30 handsets. So stay tuned for my full review coming soon. So right there is my rundown of my own favourite smartphones that I've used and reviewed in 2019. But did I miss out your own personal favourite? Well definitely don't forget to call me a numpty down below and let us know what your own choice would be. And also please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers everyone, love you!